Hi Virgo, welcome back to House of Virgo. We're going to do your weekend reading. I cannot even believe we're in October. My goodness. Okay, so October, my goodness, what is today? Uh, so the 4th, we're looking at October 4th through the 6th. Okay, if you are new, welcome. Please smash that like button, you guys. Helps to get the readings out. And a uh, personal reading link is listed below. I have fixed it and there are discounts for October. So go and check that out. Limited time only. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get into this. Give it time, Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Give it time, everything in divine timing. Let things flow. What else? Okay, you've got cycles, fate, karma, something ending, and something beginning. And you've got spy. Ugh. Ugh. Hate that spy stuff. Okay, let's see. Hate that stopping stuff. All right, let's just get a couple of messages of love here. I want to see what else you're starting out with. Interference, external party, intruding on a relationship. Lean on your inner circle during this time for the weekend, Virgo. Someone is gripped. Someone in this relationship, someone's obsessed with you. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Everything happens for a reason. All right, Virgo. So I kind of feel like what you're looking at here is um, there's something going on in your life currently that I feel like you need to be very patient about something I feel you need to be patient about um, everything in divine timing there is someone who's uh, intruding on a relationship now that could be friends it could be family there's an intruder for sure and whoever this person is um, are they're they're, re they're trying to cause some problems could be a friend it could be if you're in a in an actual romantic relationship i feel like they're trying to cause some problems but i'm also hearing you need to give this situation i feel like just how can i say this without making it sound like you shouldn't put up your dukes i, I feel like it's going to come back full circle to this person for this intrusion Okay, and I feel like your message here with this is to just sit back and wait. That's why you got cycles here. Karma is going to come back. It is. It always does it, in a positive or negative way, right? At least that's what I believe. So I feel like whoever's trying to interfere in a work situation, um, give you a hard time at work, someone intruding in a personal relationship with a friend, family member, or a romantic partner, um, I'm not telling you to not stand your ground here. I feel like the message is just, just sit back and watch. Watch and see what happens because it's going to come full circle. You just need to give something time here. All right. I don't know exactly how that relates to you, but um, just let it flow. Don't, don't, um, I'm hearing don't fight back. I feel like the, the best way to whatever this situation is to handle is to just like, okay. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay. Let this roll on through. Uh, it's not going to, don't let something affect you this weekend. I'm hearing, let it just roll on through, spend your weekend focusing on you and finding your happiness and joy. Don't let somebody else's behavior, um, ruin your day. Cause it's all going to fall apart whatever this interference is it's not gonna last long okay four of pentacles in the reverse here with this situation so uh this is like take a new outlook or a new uh, a dir or direction okay choose a different option i feel like you might want to kind of fight back or stand up for yourself or put up your dukes but i'm hearing this this weekend choose a different path Let's get a little more clarity on this, please. What else Virgo needs to know in regards to this here? Don't let this thing I'm hearing make you obsessed with it. Like, don't let it obsess, take rent space in your head. Okay, <laughs> two of pentacles in the reverse. So, yeah. Um, 
You might feel overwhelmed by this situation. Leave it. Leave it alone. Because you might not have all the information about why this person's doing this, who, the, who it is that's interfering, what's going on. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a Pisces. Um, you don't know what their motive is. I feel, now if you do, that's fine. But I feel like the message here is just kind of um, dip out and, and go and like pull, pull your energy back here with the moon. Because there's a lack of clarity here. Um, I'm just hearing somebody's like just poking the bear. There's, maybe somebody's trying to start up some shit. <laughs> start something up. Cause some problems. Uh, the best way to deal with people like that is really just ignore them. Because the minute that you feed into it, then they get what they want. Because that's what they want. Drama and attention. It won't last. Okay. So that's the biggest message here to start for the weekend. You also have Earth Sign. Lean on your inner circle during this time, Virgo. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is going to be very supportive of you this weekend. Okay. You have a decision that you need to make about, or, about whether you want to give to something or you want to um, offer some, some, drop some gems to someone or to some person. This is, I kind of feel like it's also about you asking for support and maybe asking for a little help with something from your friends. Because, you know, you do get by with a little help from your friends. Um, that's what I kind of feel like. There's people around you who want to assist maybe in some kind of financial situation. Or they just want to be able to give back or support you. And you're being asked to lean on them over this weekend. Maybe ask for a loan or ask for a couple of dollars for something. <laughs> and, you know, I feel like Virgo you're hesitant to do it and you're trying to figure out uh, you're trying to make the decision of whether or not you should and i feel like there's people around you who who do yeah and these people who are going to help you out and support you in some shape or form this is going to reduce your anxiety and your stress greatly okay um But you also might be in extreme torment, too, about asking for this help. I don't know why. There's something, maybe you're just that Virgo who's like, I don't need to ask anybody for help. I can handle it on my own. And most of the time, Virgo, you can. I believe that about you. But this particular situation, I don't know what it is. This particular situation, it's okay to ask for a little help. People feel needed when you ask them if they could if if they would help you with something everybody wants to you know how like you feel when you get to help people there's some people actually uh like that feeling because they feel like they matter they're important they get to help they get to contribute in some way let's see okay so you have the hermit in reverse yeah this is totally about you virgo you might feel lonely or isolated feeling like you're repeating past mistakes or feeling stuck. Yeah, your message here, your second message for this weekend, reach out and touch someone, Berg. Reach out and ask for a little help. Okay? You're going to have the support that you need. And it's it's really going to be okay. I don't know why I feel like I have to say that. There's got to be somebody here in this pati a particular situation. You know who you are. Who's like, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. No, I got to try to do it on my own. But... Or it might be something just blocking you. You might have a block about asking for some help. Maybe it's just about going in and, you know, seeking out some someone to talk to about real deep personal issues. And you don't want to... You, you have something... For some of you, you have something that you, you're tormented by. And you're keeping it within. And you, you dare not share it with anyone. Maybe this is like a secret you've held on to for a very long time. I feel like it's... Spirit saying you you got to talk to somebody, got to ask for some help with this because it's really affecting you. You might have trouble sleeping, things like that. Okay. Next message for you, Virgo, is you have cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. So we did see like a faded situation in the beginning of the read 10 minutes ago where I felt like somebody was going to be interfering and they're going to get theirs don't worry about it whoever's interfering could be um 
someone just very shady. But anyway, you do have someone who's obsessed with you, okay? And this might be the person who's interfering. And this might be why. Okay, that's so weird. Uh, gripped by obsessive thoughts with you. I feel like this might be somebody who left and they're coming back around. You know, they're circling back around with the cycle. All right, let's take a look and see more information on that. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Hmm. Ace of Wands reversed, Virgo. This is all about rejection. Somebody that was rejected, okay, is obsessed with you. That maybe you rejected. Or whatever happened, okay? They are obsessed. You put something on delay. They can't stop thinking about you. Or you said no, or you ended something. Uh, they're a false start. Brutal rejection here. Brutal rejection. Oh my gosh, the Ace of Swords in the reverse as well. So, wow, Virgo. Somebody's got a mental block uh, and stressed because of some kind of rejection, and now they're obsessed. Somebody's cycling back around. Cycling back around. I almost, I, like I said, I feel like it's attached to this beginning story here. Okay, they're coming back in. Oh my gosh, page of, page of cups in the reverse. And the hangman in reverse. So whoever this person is, they are restless. Oh my gosh. Pisces energy there. This person is extremely selfish. They feel like a victim. Very immature energy, Virgo. Someone who's just like, this is something to do with a breakup. That they're very dependent on you and um or at least were they're they're, they're very, being very bratty like a spoiled brat they want they they're acting out like a spoiled brat over this weekend okay because of a rejection or something that ended and they're restless now yeah they're definitely coming back in my goodness might even come in with a fake apology too if they try to reach out to you Oh my gosh, all these reversals. Nine of cups in the reverse now. This person is extremely greedy and looking for quick results because of their obsession. They're either trying to interfere and destroy a relationship you're already in, or they're just trying to interfere in your life because something ended. I don't know if they wanted it to end. Maybe not fully. I don't know the full detail, but I do feel like out of sight, is not out of mind with this person, right? And then that leads us to spy. Somebody here is spying on you over this weekend. Got their eye on you, <laughs> doing their research, trying to figure out what's going on here. Does this situation align with your, your value and morals? Everything happens for a reason, Virgo. Kind of feel like you're like, yeah, I know. I know they're going to spy. It's what they do. Yeah, I know. I feel it. I figured it. It's not some, it looks like with, maybe you're asking yourself or questioning yourself, like this person and I do not align. We do not mix well. Okay. And you're accepting this. Mm, 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 mm. Someone very, very, very dependent in a relationship. This could be your mother. Or another, that could be a, another female. Hmm. Interesting message here because as far as a love relationship goes, I do feel like you guys were together. There was some kind of together, like in the physical. But with that Empress reversed, I don't know. I don't like that. That Empress reversed, it just feels like someone who's super, super dependent on other people, dependent on you. Um, I want to say um, this person is, they have, okay, there's somebody, yeah, it ties in. They're coming back around because their resources are limited. Ain't nobody want them. If you love someone, let them go. If they come back, nobody wanted them. Let them go again. That's what I feel like is going on here. There's somebody here that, that empress in the reverse, masculine or feminine, definitely can be someone who is immature 
uh, has big fat ego. Codependent is F, okay? And I feel like you're... You're accepting that. You know what that you know what this person's all there's the emperor in the reverse. There you go. There you go. That's what it is. That's that's your narky narc narc narc. Even even so this is gonna be the way I see it in the masculine form. This is someone who's very narcissistic in a very overt way, just big time. Like you, you can see him from a mile away, the emperor in the reverse. The Empress in the reverse is a covert narcissist, a more in the feminine energy, in the in the yin. Um, this person is um, emotionally manipulative. They're not direct. They're, they have a lot of subterfuge about them, the way they manipulate other people, and that can be a form of codependency. Not, not every codependent is a narcissist, but every narcissist is codependent, for sure. They have um, those deep, you know, deep insecurities. So whoever this person is to you, maybe it's your parents. Virgo, you might just be like, maybe you're realizing if your parents are still here or whether they're passed on, Maybe you grew up with very narcissistic parents. You might be doing some research or learning about that. Like, you know, how that had an effect on you over this weekend. For sure. One more card there for Virgo. Okay. Fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Connection. Masculine or feminine. There's a fire sign. Okay. Um, spying on you. Not someone I feel like you really want anything to do with. They're very sad, but they're also very cruel. All right. Or they might be coming in very sad, playing the, the poor me card, right? And then they come in, for some of you, this person's coming in just so they can get in and cut you off again and just keep doing their business the way they do their business. Virgo, I feel like you have a lot of different messages going on. So far, but we're gonna we're gonna dig a little deeper and see what else is happening here, or at least see where's my where's my deck? I lost my deck. My deck is not here. It has completely disappeared. But I will show you what I have here. Okay, um, be careful of your stress levels over this weekend, Virgo. Absolutely, try to get some rest and recovery. I'm hearing. Okay, yes, especially, <laughs> again, with the spying. You might be stressed that someone is spying on you. I mean, if you know that they are, I totally understand that. But if you don't know that they are, why are you stressed? <laughs> you know, people, people spy on people all the time. Okay, there is someone here that wants a reunion with you, a reconciliation. All right. You do have some friends that you have really good um, chemistry with. And again, like I was saying, focus. I hate using that. I always say that word focus. I feel like you are focused. See if you can spend some time with them this weekend is what I'm hearing. You might actually meet somebody over this weekend if you're out and about or with friends or family, maybe sisters or brothers or whomever. Yeah, you might make a connection if you go out like maybe to a party. I feel like everybody here is kind of drinking, or just having some drinks. I feel like you might meet someone over this weekend. You go out. Um, and I also feel like you're going to get some information over this weekend. Um, you're not going to get the full picture, but it is going to cause you to pause and uh, think about this information you get. Okay. Now, it could come from a Cancer or a Pisces. I feel like I keep saying Pisces for this reading. I don't know what is going on, but I feel like there's going to be some information. Now, I don't necessarily feel like it's going to be bad. It's more of a tiny little reveal, and it's it's going to have an emotional impact on you. Not huge, but enough where you're going to be like, hold up. Hold up a minute. Uh Oh, okay. So they're saying you're somebody's going to it's somebody I don't know who this is going to be. Somebody's going going to reach out to you or you'll be in a conversation with someone, maybe someone romantic where they ask you to wait for them. Somebody's going to ask you to wait for them. Okay. That's interesting. 
Not exactly sure what that means. It might just be you're like walking ahead of someone and they're like, hello, wait up. Or it's a romantic connection with someone. They reach out and ask you to wait for them. Don't, don't leave. Don't go with somebody else. Like whatever that means to you, I don't know. But I'm just hearing that message in my head. Okay. All right. Wow, negative thinking in reverse. That's good. So you're turning it around. Good, Virgo. Turn around that negative thinking. That's like battling. So every time I feel like you get a negative thought that comes in, I don't know, Virgo, you must have picked up like some kind of way where you're like, I know how to handle this and just flip it around. All right, you also have a risk that's being you're being asked to take or you've got something that you have to do. And I feel like you're being told to take that risk. What do you got to lose? Um, you won't know until you try, right? That's what I'm hearing. Uh, starting over, if this is a, a, like you're starting over with something, can be tough, but it, they're saying spread your wings. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. That, that, that causes people to not do things, right? So don't overthink it. Whatever this thing is this weekend, that you might be like, oh no, but if I do this, then you'll go to, you make a whole list of, now I know it's not every Virgo, but somebody here makes a whole list of everything that could possibly happen. And then you think about anything, and then you try to coordinate and work out the logistics. No, just do it. Just go and just do it. Because actually, it's probably going to be a lot less worse, or a lot, yeah, a lot less worse, maybe not even bad at all, as compared to how bad your thinking is. <laughs> You also have endure and be patient this weekend, Virgo, right? And I, we said that in the beginning here with some kind of interference or something that's going on. All right. You do have a toxic situation here. Something has a hold of you. You need to break the chain, even though it seems impossible. Take it a day at a time. Healing doesn't happen overnight. Face your fears. Pray for guidance and ask to be lifted out of this. This is a time of deep struggle, but you need to know that you are not alone. And you will be getting a sweet text message from someone this weekend. It could be on your phone. It could be in your DMs. Uh, maybe it's on a social media message that you receive something here from someone. Um, it's very sweet. Very, very sweet. Gives you tingles like that first couple sips of champagne. It's very sweet. I feel like you're going to be pretty happy with that. I don't know who it's from, but it's coming. All right, and you also have victory recognition. So I feel like you're you're gonna get some recognized for something over this weekend. Um, somebody might say, "Hey, you look like you've lost weight. You look really good." Or, "Did you get your hair done? Um, looks really good." Or, "Hey, you shaved." You know, um, there's something that you've been working on that um, is the results are coming, and people are gonna be noticing. They'll be noticing over this weekend, so you're going to hear something. And it's going to make you feel like, yes, um, keep you inspired to keep doing what you're doing. Lots of applause and praise for a victory. Okay, someone's sitting in a position of regret. Just so you know, there's someone in your life that has a lot of regret for something they did or something they did not do. Now, it could be you. You might have some regrets for some things. Um, so, sorry to hear that. I hope you don't live your life with regret. But if you do, I don't know. What do you do with, like, extreme regret? I, you ask for forgiveness, I guess? Um, or just be like, it is what it is. Accept it. Some things just need to be accepted. All right, then you do have spying, somebody spying, being deceitful, spying on you, hiding behind a fake uh, number, a fake account, watching you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much just clarifying we already know here. What else do you have, Virgo? All right, you have a love offer is also coming in. You have a, there's so much happening this weekend, but Virgo, you know, I'm not touching uh, just one person. I'm reaching a whole bunch of you. So you do have a love offer coming in, Virgo, which will be nice. Someone makes a proposal to you, or um, it could be simple as, hey, you want to go get some drinks? Could also be, I want to marry you. <laughs> Anything like that, or just to spend time together. Okay, something sweet. So it's, it's very well balanced, I feel. So this reading has a really good disposition because it's 
it's not over the top. It's it's a little bit of stuff that's not so great and ways to handle that and some good positive energies playing out here as well. All right, and then last but not least, you're ending with your Hermit card. Take a look at yourself, Virgo. And again, that's what I'm saying. Add up the pros and cons of you. Just like this reading has pros and cons to it. Balance things out. Reconcile yourself to accepting you just as you are, as well as those in your heart and in your life. Acceptance is key. Do not beat yourself up. Live and let live. What if you, Whatever regrets you have, just be like, eh, well, that's the way it went. So I'm moving on. Okay. Oh, I also just saw bossy male i feel like you have a boss that's going to be really putting their foot down with you this weekend like maybe asking or saying like oh you have to put in more hours or giving you extra work um it feels it feels like it's it's connected to a work thing um or telling you, you got to work next week or something yeah being very bossy they're not they're not very kind i feel it's not someone who's very kind um could be a female but I, I don't feel like they're very kind. I feel like they're just being very bossy and kind of selfish and egotistical. Um, it, it could, yeah, I do feel like there's a work connection, but there could be um, um, someone who's being very bossy with a love offer, like, kind of like, you will accept my love offer. <laughs> you are mine. You are not getting away from me. Ooh la la. Yes. Okay. I once had someone tell me that my lips were theirs. I was like, not when I'm using them. Weird. Oh, do I want to pull Chinese cards? Yes, I do. I, I don't know why lately. I've just been kind of forgetting about that. All right, this is going to be for you, Virgo, your Chinese sign. All right, we have Year of the Horse. It could be somebody else you're connected to. You play it out however you like. Year of the Pig. Year of the Snake. Year of the Goat, and Year of the Rat, okay? All right, so let's get the rest here. Okay, significant signs to you over the weekend. Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, and Leo. Okay, September 10th, someone's birthday. September 12th. September 3rd, the 21st, August 27th, hold on, hold on, okay, is there any more singles, I don't see any, okay, someone's born in 1990, someone's born in 1976, um, we have 82, 55, age or year of birth, 69, 57, oh, we do have September 14th, I didn't see that, 36, 40, 38, 31, 62, all right, okay, okay, um, significant month, uh, December is going to be very powerful, something significant very powerful will be happening in december of this year and something significant happened in june of last year of this year okay a couple few months ago something very significant happened in june okay cameron i'm hearing cameron all right let me give you the initials before we do anything, um, someone has two A's in their name. We have a C, M, O, X, F, K, I, P, U, and E. Okay. Someone's last name is Cox. Uh, someone's like a fixer, like they fix things, um, like a handyman or a handywoman. Uh, someone's in Missouri. Somebody's looking at your pics, like obsessively. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, they just gave me a Van Halen song. 
jump. Maybe you're jumping. Uh, somebody, somebody's waiting for a fax. <laughs> do people do faxes still? Somebody's at Acme. I just heard someone's at Acme. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, somebody's listening to that old song. Um, oh my gosh, it's from like the... I don't remember when it was from. Something to do with kicks. Like my kicks. Pumped up kicks. Just, you guys remember that song? Yeah, there, there's something something about that song. Pumped up kicks. Moxie, I'm hearing. Maxie. Uh, mocha, enjoying some mocha. Pamela. Okay. Fez. <laughs> Fez. Someone's going to AC this weekend. OAC. OC? OC. Ocean City? Maybe an, is an Ocean City? Okay. Let's move on to your charms. Digging deep. Digging deep, you guys. Okay. What in the X? Yeah, they give me these charms and I have no idea what they are. And then, oh, okay, we got a dragon here. Some kind of connection to a dragon. Maybe you have a dragon, like a bearded dragon. Or, um... This could be a Chinese dragon. I don't know if you can see it, but... Uh, I, I did figure it out. It's like a, a wing, yeah, a winged dragon. Um... There's some connection to a dragon. I don't know what kind of dragon. I don't know. I don't know anything about dragons, but yeah, maybe fire breathing. <clears throat> Someone might live in a place called Dragon's Head, I just heard. Dragon's Head. And you know, that one just dropped. One sec. I'll figure out where it went. Oh, there it is. All right. So you've got Chanel number five, um, and it's in a pink bottle, but it's Chanel number five. So I don't know, maybe it's, it, it could be Chanel. It could be somebody, is there a perfume called pink? Something like that. So, or somebody's either buying or receiving or is going to be wearing uh, a new perfume. Why won't this come in? Hold on. I have to like, I want to show it to you if you can see it. Let's waste all our time on this. Okay. No problem. There you go. See it? It says like number five. Something to do with this perfume. I have a couple of bottles of these, but they're not pink. Significant for someone. Chanel number five. You might get it, like, smell it somewhere. I also have the letter Q. They're just giving me. Um, I'm going to just get one more. Oh, yay. I'm so happy this came out. <laughs> You've got a broom. <laughs> Maybe you're getting a new vehicle, Virgo. <laughs> Is this your new car? The new way you're getting around, Virgo, with a broom? Can't see it. Can't see it. Come on. It's not that difficult. Anyway, um, this could be related to like Halloween. Maybe there's something here about Halloween. Uh, you're, maybe you're looking at Halloween stuff over this weekend. You're checking out some witch's brooms. Or uh, I'll be damned if I'm going to just mess with this for hours. Sometimes it works and sometimes it's like, nah, it's not happening today. It's because the, the other background stuff is in the way, right? So anyway, yeah, you might be sweeping. There we go. That's all I need to do. Like, I'm very smart. Um, so you, maybe you're sweeping as you're listening to this reading here. It's something. This is straw broom. All right, more specifically, a straw broom. Something to do with, with broom. I, I feel like because it's October that they're giving me some kind of Halloween vibe here. So, yeah. All right. That was so much fun. going to leave that there for you. And uh, if you want to get a personal reading, you know, the link is in the description box below. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. 
and um, I will see you all back here on Sunday. Well, all right, love you, bye. You go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. Mm -hmm.